Okay, hello, and thank you for tuning in to the Black Box Podcast, BBOR, Black Box Online Radio. I'm going to ask you one simple question. Should Joe Biden be the nominee for the Democratic Party in the uh, 2020 election against Donald Trump? There has been a little bit of talk about this on the internet, and by a little, I mean very little. But there has been some talk that Joe Biden is showing interest in becoming the president of the United States, running for the presidency. And this actually might be a good move for the Democratic Party. Joe Biden has a lot of characteristics that um, the Democrats would really want to look at. For starters, he has the star power. He has the sort of name recognition that they are going to need. And, you know, it's like a lot of the people who are interested in the uh, Democratic primary, who you'll probably see coming out, they really just don't have a name that is going to be recognized by every voter in America. Every voter in America should know the name Joe Biden, and they also should know a lot about him. And, you know, he also has the political resume. He, you know, has been vice president for eight years, and that is something. I mean, that is something. But it's like, the other thing is, I believe, like, he was a senator since the 70s, something like 1978, 1979. I'm going to have to go back and look at that, but the point is, he was in the Senate for a very long time, and when we look at somebody like um, Barack Obama, the Republicans were so critical of him because they said, you know, he was only exactly in the Senate for 18 months before he made the first announcement that he was interested in the presidency, and, you know, Biden is not a one-term senator. He was there for decades, so he has a lot of Washington experience, not to mention eight years as the vice president, and he has the name recognition that could sort of push him to the top of the Democratic rankings. Does this mean that he can win a general election against Donald Trump? Well, the things that work against Joe Biden is, if he were to go up against Donald Trump in a general election, he would turn into just a battle of the big mouse. For eight years, the Republicans trashed him. They sort of just said that he was Bozo the VP. He had Biden Rhea of the mouth. He was somebody who couldn't watch what he was saying. And he always just made these ridiculous slip ups. And he accidentally revealed some information from his meetings with Obama. He told uh, a group of African Americans that Mitt Romney was going to put them back in chains. And it was just sort of like he really does not watch what he says. And that is very important when it comes to somebody in a general election because he could get torn apart. You know, you can break a person in seconds, as we heard on House of Cards, you know, and that's real. That's real. One scandal can destroy somebody. I mean, of course, I mean, unless you um, have the Donald Trump campaign working for you and they just sort of found very crafty ways around that, more or less. But the point is, can Biden win? You know, a lot of this would really depend on the economy. If the economy absolutely tanks and it's Joe Biden versus Donald Trump in a general election... Very possibly, I mean more than possibly, yes, Joe Biden would probably win if the economy does a lot better and the stock market just keeps going up, up, and up. You know, that could be a very deciding factor with these two candidates. You know, if their economy is much stronger, Donald Trump would most likely win. And, you know, two candidates like Donald Trump are really going to be um, fairly squaring off. It would be a very close battle. Now, I will say one thing that's sort of an elephant in the room when it comes to the Democratic Party, and that is the diversity card. I mean, by 2017, 2018, we all know that diversity of race does not give you diversity of opinion. That is just something that, you know, maybe it was a stronger factor in the past, but it is something that the Democrats are going to be looking for. And the short story is Biden is a white man, and he's not going to get any diversity points. And the Democrats should not be looking at it that way. I'm not a Democrat myself, but they are. You know, they're always, like, trying to just sort of what they call, you know, racial empowerment. But that's the Democratic prerogative. And that could be something that would work against Joe Biden in a primary. You know, there are going to be other candidates potentially running, such as, you know, Kamala Harris, such as Caroline Kennedy. Maybe Tulsi Gabbard, the representative from Hawaii, would be running. And it's just going to be sort of one thing, you know. I mean, that really shouldn't happen. Someone should not be, you know, lose points in an election just because they are a white man. It should be the person who, you know, has the uh, best political platform. But I don't believe that's the way the Democrats are going to be looking at it. So that could be one thing that would work against Joe Biden winning the primary. But if it's in the general election, it doesn't matter at that point. And, you know, if Joe Biden, though, is not able to... um, really just watch his mouth and not get any slips of the tongue going out, not have all those things tumbling out. There's a very high 
chance that that could, you know, cause him to lose the election because they would, he would get torn apart by the Republicans. It's a very sensitive time. And while the Democrats are just looking back to the Obama years as the greatest thing that ever happened in American history, the Republicans are looking back with a lot of mixed feelings. And mixed in the sense that they flat out just don't agree. Yes, I mean, they recognize that there was some economic improvement following the Bush years, but when it comes to anything regarding social issues, when it comes to things like Middle East policy, the Republicans tear Obama apart. And they would do the same thing to Joe Biden because he was there for all of it. So he is going to receive an enormous amount of criticism that some of the other potential Democratic contenders might not receive. So that's another thing that um, could really put Joe Biden back, you know. And, but does that mean that he's going to lose a general election? And the answer to that is not necessarily. So much of this election would depend on the economy and also on how Trump does over the next three years. I mean, so many people right now are talking about that Trump might get impeached for all of these, you know, Russia Gate scandals and dealing with Manafort and Michael Flynn and Papadopoulos. Yeah, the Republican Party doesn't seem too scared right now. And the Republican commentators don't really seem too scared either. So that's the sort of short story with that. It's most likely that Trump will be around for the uh, 2020 general election. But does that mean we're going to have eight years of Trump? Not necessarily. The Democrats really have to go through their potential list of nominees. A Democratic voter should look at the list now with a fine-tooth comb and just be really trying to examine who can win. Yes, platforms are important, but they also need to look at electability. Who can win the general election? And it's going to be very difficult for them to find a nominee because most of them really do not have the star power that a candidate like Joe Biden has. He really would have, you know, the sort of celebrity status even that could really connect a lot of Democratic voters. You know, somebody like Kamala Harris or somebody like Hickenlooper are just not going to be that well known outside of the political circles. And, you know, that is really going to hold them back. And it really seems like Bernie Sanders is not running. Elizabeth Warren is not running. And there's no chance in hell Al Franken will be running. So that's the short end of it. I will ask that question to you. Uh, what would you say? Should Joe Biden be the Democratic nominee for president in the 2020 general election? Please leave a comment and say anything you want, anything at all, absolutely anything. I want to hear it.